There we are. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's time for a little help. The D A W uh <laughs> hike that we take every week to start off our journey into the College of Alchemy. Oh man. It's a very, very bad analogy. But that's yeah, it's reasonable. I mean, we do okay. Getting our toes wet. Well we're we're helping, we jump into the pool. Helping a little bit. Helping a little bit with Ableton. We're probably gonna move on to other tools before too long. I've heard tell of uh of Jake doing uh family tracker sessions. Um, I don't know if that'll be before or after or during, but we have all kinds of weird stuff to teach. And this is kind of the stuff that, this is the stuff that dreams are made of. No. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. NES dude, we'll hang for a minute. Let us know as we get going if there's anything you'd like us to cover in our Ableton overview. I just have a beat here. Kicking around. This is kind of a short review of what we did a week or two ago, where we're using transient modes over here of our warp to change the length of this guy. Because I don't want all those grains showing up in my slowed down beat. I'll just kick that down. Which nobody can see that, but hey, I don't care. I don't, do you care? I don't care. And um, I have my MIDI controls set up to do this kind of thing. So let's just like groove for a minute and let people come in. 158 beats per minute is not correct, but it gives us a lot of detail. Some people like that. Also, I'm not even sure. I, I don't have the stream loaded on my machine today. I'm just gonna go, we're going blind. We're going all the way. Oh cool, I get to see a commercial for my own channel. Know what I'm saying? Nice. Someone's making money. Happens to me too. Uh, drop, drop a mad, drop a mad flow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to. No pressure, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. But um... Thanks for hosting. I just saw that update. Welcome to the chat room. I've got this like loop going and I have a vibraphone type instrument in the far side. This blue column over here, this guy. Whoa, let's use the giant mouse pointer abilities of Mac OS. Um, but I'm not going to tell you about pentatonic scales and tension and playing over a, a thing. That's not my job. That's Rockstar Academy. Sam Lustig will be on next. So we'll do that then. Where do we leave off? I was thinking, you were thinking, let's do a theme song for our show. Yeah, we were thinking maybe we could, maybe we could work on a theme song for a little help. After all. Yeah. We uh, we did give you a little help, but we we kind of keep it chill. We don't really have like a an introductory thing. And I'd really like to personally go from playing with Ableton, you know, silly puttying, DJing, and audio and stuff, into like actually producing, sweet, finishing a track, that kind of thing. Even if it's a short like 30 second thing. Of course. So I mean, we have we have the technology. I'm gonna do something with this. I already saved it. This is so. a great loop. I was, I was, basically just sitting here for about an hour with my <laughs> laptop, being like, dun, dun, bam, 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 bam. that is a song. Bam, bam, uh, bam, bam, bam. This is a song called Spearhead, or a song called Positive by Spearhead, mm. um, and it was it was made at a time when HIV was kind of ravaging uh, urban America, mm. <laughs> and so that's where that comes from. It's a really good song. From my childhood, 
I highly recommend you pick up Spearhead. Um, Y'all might know the same person, uh, the same artist, Michael Franti, who did like the, I think it was one of the, the some kid movie songs. But um, I'm not going to play them because, you know, I don't need that lawsuit this week. But look them out. Uh, look them up. I could probably link it in the uh, chat. Let's see. Or, uh, Spearhead. It's a really good album. Just just do it. Just buy all of their stuff. They're super old. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's make a new thing. A couple of ways to do it. If you're into keyboard shortcuts like I am, you can press Command W to close the window or, you know, N to make a new live set, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to make a new live set. I will save changes to my funny loops. But I also want to get this resolution back. I'm looking at you guys. Um, hopefully you like my new, my new style. I'm looking at, your, I'm looking at the stream and I realize it's going to be kind of hard to see what's going on. We usually do something like 125. How about that? Mm hmm, mm hmm, yes, no. More, 130, 150? Um, that's pretty good. That's good. It's How are you guys legible. liking that? Pretty yeah. visible. Pretty visible to y'all? Oh, yeah. I can dig it. That's pretty good. All right. 125, 150. I'm into that. All right. So let's go. What do you want to do with this? Let's get rid of my mono track. Let's pretend we're just starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. Audio or Ableton by default has an audio track and a MIDI track. And that's like it. Um, there is a reverb and delay that I've kind of replaced with Max for Live reverb and delay. But those are basically always going to be... And those are set up by default on A and B, right? Yes. So uh, if we don't have a plugin we like, in this case we do, um, the defaults will suffice in creating uh, a track, absolutely. let's say, right? I mean, cool. all you have to do in order to change that setting is let's put a reverb back. We'll go into audio effects. Mm -hmm. I'll drop a reverb back in that return track. And I can't really save it. It's an untitled track. What I really want to do is change my default file. Do, 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 do. Here, at the top of this selection, it says save current set as default. Cool. It's going to be like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. And we're done. So now whenever I make a new thing, which I don't want to save the changes to, blam. We have our tempo, practically everything, saved to our current set. So like my mono track is gone. Um, my other thing is still here, but the Ableton reverb lives on. Do different music programs have generally standardized hotkeys or are they wildly different? That's a great question. I would say yes and no. Mm, depends Some programs, on what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, you'll always get a copy and paste. Right. Uh, things that you find in a word processor are also in pretty much universal uh, DAWs. So and not just a word processor, but stuff that's stuff that's operationally universal. Right. Um, then, uh, but the rest of them, you do start to get different shortcut keys. Sometimes they overlap, but um, for example, uh, nudging something in Logic versus nudging something in Pro Tools. Right. Pro Tools is like the easiest thing in the world to just kind of like with a little audio track. Logic, I don't know why, they just decide that having that same level of usability is, a, is like a big pain in the ass. Um, yeah. And you got like... Live doesn't make that stuff easy either. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is very drag and drop related. Yeah. Um, so if you have a MIDI clip over here... So yeah, just to answer your question, yes and no. It's if just, you're yeah. if you're going with really simple functions that are maybe more universal to computing, you're gonna find that they show up. Why? But when you're dealing with Why? when you're dealing with the little tiny things, uh, every DAW has a little bit of a different, um, little bit of a different trick. One thing I found that's universal uh, or almost universal that's really useful is holding down the option button when you click and drag something All to right. copy stuff. Uh, that seems to have taken that seems to have taken hold uh, in pretty much every program I use, and I think um, it's one of the more useful things. So instead of copying and pasting something, you hold mm. down Option, you drag it over, and you make a copy of it, and Ooh. there it is. But if you let go of Option, it'll just move the stupid clip. 
Mm -hmm. um, which is cool, I guess, because you can do kind of both. You can press option after. As long as you're holding yeah. it down when you release the key, you're good to go. Yeah, but um, yeah, uh, I guess the selection tools are kind of similar, mm -hmm. uh, like like you would see maybe in your operating system. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of navigate with the arrow keys like up and down to go between tracks and left and right to move our, our playhead. Yeah. Um, and if I press shift, I can start selecting regions. And if I press, I think it's shift alt. I'm getting like a larger region or command shift. I have no idea. It's just a thing you can do. But we also kind of went over stuff like that with, um, oh, interesting. Yeah, alt left and right is kind of like how you would do in a text editor. Um, let me open up some kind of text edit. Oh, text edit. Brilliant. I don't know. I don't have any text to edit. Man, just open a new document. Tell me some stuff. So if I can zoom in on this real quickly. kind of want to get into a similar kind of trick. Um, so I can press like command, or it's like home and end, right, to get to the beginning and end of a file. I can press alt left and right to get to the beginning of the next word, or the end of the last word. So it's the end of this word, end of this word, or the beginning of that word by going back. Mm -hmm. And by that token, I can go, oh yeah, tell Ravi stuff. Um, that's pretty useful. Don't, you know, don't save your rich text documents if you're just showing people how hotkeys work. So there are some things like that that kind of work across most systems, but I can't think of too many more. A lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of workflow is kind of like the, the, the mark or the paradigm of like these tools. Because at some level, digital audio workstations are kind of, they all do the same thing. They interpret MIDI and they manipulate audio buffers and they sum them together and spit audio out of different things. So that's that. So let's talk about production because we never have enough time on the show. Do we have any ideas for like uh, how we could possibly go into making a track for, for this thing? Oh, if we're making a little ditty, yeah. we're going to have our main components, no matter what our genre or style is, we're going to have uh, rhythm, bass, harmony, and then a melody, right? Rock on. So those are the four main elements of composing any track. Uh, Ableton gives us lots to work with in terms of drum loops, in terms of drum tools. Uh, and of course, we have lots of instruments we can pull. But maybe we should just start with a good groove, or let's ask the chat what they want to hear. Yeah, what does this show what what does the show sound like to you, especially except for two dudes just yelling at a computer, and also at chat? Like what kind of genre would you guys like to hear? What kind of style? They're gonna say like techno. That's they're gonna say totally techno because it's the most generic <laughs> they way to you say know, electro I want an electronic beat. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Do you want some house? You want some? I want to find chill my wave. You want some? We should do a vaporwave intro. A vaporwave <laughs> intro. <laughs> uh, let's want get, some? Get my um, Lindrum out. Like basically robotic J-pop. You want some vintage Shibuya K? Ooh, now we're getting interesting. Vaporwave, lol. All right. <laughs> That's Sold. The vote. That's the vote. I mean, isn't, yeah, okay, I'm not going to go there, <laughs> but I will do this. So what do we start with? I, I, to me, I think a signature, uh, a signature vaporwave sound is you mess, you, you mess up the implementation of an 80s drum kit. Uh, live has a badass Lindrum. Uh, in Live Suite, if I can find, is it classic drum machines? Or is it drum machines? It's not retro synths. No. Instruments? You are messing with my brain. I guess, did I just do that? Mm. Sounds? Kit Core LD. Show me where that is. In my Giga selection. Here we go. 
Will that just work? I'll add that to a MIDI track. I think I'll actually crash Ableton, apparently, is what happened. I have no idea. This has never happened before. Bugs. I totally crashed. Let's reopen Ableton. Oh, no. That's so cool. June bug from Kentucky Route Zero. Speaking of bug, we have somehow crashed the crap out of live. I have sent a useless bug report in. Um, I love sending useless bug reports in. They're like, tell us exactly what happened when the program crashed. And you're like, I was using <laughs> the program. Send. Like, that's not useful. Just, yeah, whatever. Just like, Let's recover our nothing Well, I was mark. using the program as intended, and you fuckers don't know how to code. <laughs> That's send. pretty bad. I could never build something You're as complicated as what they did. We're going to so. start a war this way. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. Um, why? Oh, drum machines. Oh, drum machines. It's always drum machines. It's always drum machines. When you least expect it. So, drum machines. I have a kit LD. Which, I don't know if you can hear this right now, but that is I like straight up. Two guards saying 80s cop theme, war drums. Even better. War drums? What is that? How about 80s cop vaporwave? Weird. Yeah. I'm not going to report a crash. Why don't you report an update? <laughs> oh. Got him. Got him completely. I need to get my MIDI thing hooked up. Yeah. That's so... Purple Rain. All right. It just is. And then I guess what else do we need? 80s cop theme. We need a, we need a sequenced um, modular synth. We need something that's kind of big, like an ARP. I'm just going to cheat and use something that is kind of like an ARP, like an ARP. Um, I want a sequenced noise. That's a template. We can get into the detail of it later. Uh, characteristics. Can somebody can somebody lean in and read that for me? Sequence. Thank you. Um. Alright, so now that I have all of that thing done, I believe I can go back out of my library view. I really can't read any of these little knobs. Man, if I had an ARP though. Sweet. Can you hear that? I can't. Got a call from mom. All right, cool. So that's like a low D. Let's just let's just do that. And maybe I'll transpose it later, but I'll get like two bars of this D thing. This is totally not how Jake writes his music. But who cares? I'm not that guy. I'm not trying to be that guy. Oh, that's beautiful. It's perfect in every way. Actually, that's not true. There we go. Make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to raise the grid size with keyboard madness. And we can do the thing we were just talking about, where we move the notes over. 
The same way that we moved that cliff over. Cool. Ah, the envelope was too quick. Also, I want something about that speed. That's how I hear it in my head. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, where is my voltage controlled filter? And where is my amplitude? Uh. Yeah. All right. That's a start. Let's make another beat here. I want this thing to loop. All right. What do you think? What's this '80s cop to you? What's this '80s cop to me? Yeah. Like synth toms. Oh, yes. Which also can work in Vaporwave. Which we have. <laughs> Th those, those we have, yes. Let me go and re-enable this guy. Who... Talking like that. Have to adjust the sound of that guy. Yeah, let's get a pattern in there and worry about that in a minute. I want this to be a little bit more granular. 16, maybe we can see. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. just two. It's just bass line. Yeah. This bass is just not loud enough. I'm gonna stack guy up. We're just gonna go back into our VCA. And I also wanna make that a little bit dirty. I'm gonna throw in a saturator just to kinda go the rest of the way. I'm really liking this kind of pulsing drive right here. Alright. We need something that's a little bit like... Detailed. Uh -huh. I'd love for these two to be tied to each other.
sidechain the space. I'll buy that. Can't even really hear. I'm just gonna listen to the chat. Chat, tell me just how to mix this. I'll do the best I can. map that to something. So here, I can configure, inside of a plugin that has the billion knobs, they're probably not going to have default mappings um, for those things. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do is configure that and then pick that selection. What this is doing is detuning a little bit. And so now that I have that selected, or now that I have that detune happening, sure. I can actually take that out and map that to a normal knob. Nice. Like here. Boom. And if I'm not mistaken, That'll automatically be mounted. So let's dupe that out a bit. All right. Um, as a baseline, I want to consolidate these guys, which is right clicking or mm -hmm. pressing Command J. Um, but like I said, I prefer keyboard shortcuts because I don't like regular size mice or something like that. I'm afraid of mice. I'm proud of it. So I'm going to record automation over this guy. As you can see, this MIDI thing is mapped to this knob I happen to have sitting next to me. The default tuning for it is about here. So we'll just kind of do that. Oh, I need to turn that hmm. dub back on. Otherwise, it's not going to play MIDI through. And I don't need to record that guy at all.
Cool. I can dig it. So every at the, at the rate of the control signal, which is a lot lower than audio rate, I forgot what the control rate is. It's probably like a few hundred times a second mm -hmm. instead of several thousand times a second. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I guess this is called a little help. Um, you can get pretty reasonable resolution for interpolating every time it captures a point. So now what do we need? I want to duplicate this guy so we can add our tom stuff to it. Or maybe get a different tom. Yeah, we could use some, some good 80s toms. Because I feel like this one... some good ones. Got to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I almost want like a really dated one with like a big, like thick reverb on it. Like, do, do, do. Well, I would throw that to our reverb channel. Like where you know it's a fake tom, that's right. the real like... Oh, hold on. I don't like this reverb because mm. I replaced it. <laughs> but let's switch that out. So I found another shortcut key. This will blow your mind. Remember this guy over here, the hot swap button? Press Q. Oh. What? Q will give you a full on effect. Mm. So Q lets you swap. Yeah. Shortcut to swap. I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. See, it's a swapping audio effect. Oh, that's neat. So the thing about that tom sound is it's very tonal, right? Yeah. There's a lot going on with cool. their... Like this guy. Let's turn that up. Look at that tone. Maybe even... I'm just messing that up. Nah, you know what? I'm not liking it. I need a better tom. What do we pick? Guys, where do we get this tom? Aeon upheaval. You got a call from tom. That's not true. Do I know this? Do I know this streamer? Do I know this Twitch? I mean, we could make it with a synthesizer. I'm pretty sure we could find... A good 80s tom, like an 808 or a 909. Oh, let's look through sounds and see what kind of sample. See what we got. We could also check our clips. I do have an 808. In fact, let's well. let's try to let's try to make this like a clip or a loop that we can just drag and drop. This that, kind of thing. That lets us show. What about a like a loop that already has some good 80s toms in it? Anything in your packs? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I like. I mean, I have an 808. Like, these are all Acusified, that's weak. Yeah, but I'd love to, I'd love to find a loop that oh, already find, exists. find, like, a sample? Yeah, to, like, work it in. Oh, interesting. Kind of show people how that layering might work. Sure. Um, I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have anything that... that... that has that. Um, maybe maybe inside just, of packs? Maybe we just go in a different direction, grab a different clip that we really like. There are Tom drum hits. Mm, what about under clips? That's pretty. That's pretty cop show. It's like mildly cop. I'm into that. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna take that. It's an audio. Oh, it's loop. not. It's an Ableton clip. Oh. This is a whole other level. We haven't talked about this at all. Cool. That sounds pretty good. I went to that. Yeah. I want to put a chorus over this guy. Yeah. Hey. That doesn't suck. I like it a lot. Let's do it. <laughs> I still want to wet it up a little bit. Yeah, um, I, would, I would say. Let's take... Probably a good idea. Here's what we can do. Is take our toms from this guy. Mm -hmm. And just straight drop them in our other guy. Those are the DMX toms, though. Damn. Crash DMX, Tom DMX high. Mm -hmm. um, let's add a reverb send. Just boom. There's already one in here. 
Nice. And another time. Uh, and then the tambourine in here is a bit high for my taste. So yeah. you can just take that down. Nice. I'm into that. That's super useful. All right, why don't we why don't we layer up some synths and some chords, get something kind of I don't know harmonic happening at least. <laughs> now that we got our building box. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're reading you, chat. What do you what did you say? A synthesizer? Yeah. Why don't we bring in some some chordal? Oh, what do you want? I don't know. I got a lot of synthesizers. Something really uh, something really. It's hard to describe exactly what I want. Something good for chords, though. Word. Let's bring in something kind of electronic and thick and chordal. Something we can make good chords with. Kind of like a, I don't know, bow, 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 kind of. Uh, something okay. we can do some eighths with, or maybe some, maybe a good pad, like something. a good thick pad. Something stabby and wide. How yeah. about a Juno? Let's, let's check it out. That's an 80s for sure. Wide for sure. But is it Vaporwave? Oh, it absolutely is. Let's do it. Just throw out all the Jupiter 8 synths I got. I'm just going to use all of the Arteria plugins I have, because they're awesome. Now let's do the same thing. Let's search through. Let's see. I want a pad um, that is... Oh, these Arteria synths are so nice. Dude, I, I'm telling you. It's worth the money. Whenever these things are on sale, just get them all. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what I got. I don't want an arpeggiated one. I want. I want it to be polyphonic. Um, I want a pad. Do they have a factory pad? It's pretty close. I have to change that a bit to get what I want out of it. But that's, you know, what do you think about that? As a starting point? Hmm. Definitely in the right domain. I kind of yeah. like this. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to mess with it. And I, I want to change uh, a couple of things about it. The attack is too slow. Um, so here, where is my envelope? Right? How would I unsolo you? down a bit. There's a special chorus. the type of preset we're looking for? No, yeah. they're, they're too good at... These old synths are really good at modeling that type of keys stuff. Keys, maybe? Just keys? FM. Let's see what keys give us. Turn off that filter. Let's see what we get. Um, cool. Alright, it's behind a bunch of effects.
pretty round. It's not exactly synclavy. Hmm, not bad. Do something like that. Mm -hmm. Keep filtering. What is this guy? Or brass. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Maybe a little a little brighter, but basically. Well, we can change it once we're close to What's it. What's Rat Brassy do? Rat Brassy? Yeah. What's that do? Hmm. Is that really long filter? at the on Yeah, the... no. I like something a little stabby brass. Yeah. I think that's what I'm kind of feeling. Let's do that. And let's yeah. turn up that filter. It might let's be a little it. 70s, but feeling it. Well, if we if we turn it up. I want Okay, so if somebody can determine whether that it says VCF or VCA. <laughs> Brighter? Yes? And then, uh, what are you? Sold. All right. Tell me I need some of your MIDI. Need some of uh, my MIDI? All right, what we got? Ready? Let's see what we got. I don't know, hang on. Oh, so I learned this new technique. Gotta show you. Yeah. Right? So Let's I was talking about this. this the other day. So you can have this thing looping, right? And then we'll go over to the other side. And we can rehearse stuff in here. Nice. Let me... Uh, I can't one. hear. Yeah, I'm gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna mix that out. We're in D. Yeah. We don't really have a good progression. Let's let's figure something out. Okay. Nice of that. Let's try this. No, let's try I know when you're ready to start. Yeah. I'll watch another clip. Uh, right. Let's do it now. Let's One, try it. One, two, ready, and... Did you dig it? That'd be our loop, right? Cool. So now, right, I have your take written here. Yeah, my messy, messy take. That's cool. We can make it cleaner. All right. If you want to. Let's do it. I can't, all right, so. With electronic uh, music, you really <laughs> need to have some precision going. Oh, that's a good point. So what I'll do mm. is I'll scoot this all, all this stuff over to the beginning because mm -hmm. that was just me not having a quantized press or whatever. Um, I will then align... If I command U or right click, uh, wow, quantize. If you press command shift U, you can say how close you want it. So by default, quantize settings are about 73%. So even if I'm kind of on, it'll still be kind of off, like when it changes the start position of a note. Nice. Um, however, those effects do stack. Wow, we're almost there. Nice. And so we have an eight bar loop thing, right? And check this out. The other thing we just covered, if I hold this, I can drag it into our arrangement. Nice. Wham. What'd you hold? Just, I hold it down. 
hold down the clip and you That's press right. tab to switch views, so right? So I pressed F to go back to follow arrangement mode. Nice, nice. And now, none of these clips will be activated when I play. Right. But the but one you dragged the performance over is, is here. Yeah. Very nice. Well, we've got one minute left yeah, on our, one on our track minute. so far. I don't know if this is going to become the theme song or if this is just going to become our, our demo track, but I hope everybody's able to follow along yeah. as we look at the different building blocks and stuff. I really want to do a little bit of patch adjustment here. Yeah. But I really want to do that on a screen that's not 10 feet away from my face. Does help. I cannot see for the life of me Does what help. the heck this is supposed to say. And then this also has an effect section. But we don't need to do that, do we? Oh, you know what I hate about Arturia plugins? They do all this kind of crazy stuff. What's going on with that? Oh, I hit the mod wheel. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you can just drag it back down. I thought I did. Ah. Yeah, the it's, mom wheel on this this bad boy is a little bit. It's a touch. It's sticky. a touch strip. It's really but not it is a great. Cute little, this is a great little controller for like getting started. It's pretty cheap the too. Mini Lab Universal Controller. Looks like it's almost time for. It's almost time for Rockstar, Rockstar Academy. Academy. So let's fade out here. Revisit the track next week. Yeah, I think so. Let me just add my things as we go. Let me add my stupid shine plug into it. And see if that kind of helps us. I want to mix this it a little bit better. It's not quite a vaporwave cop song yet, but we'd have to like slow it down. It's still kind of a chill. Still kind of a chill something. Let's see where this goes. It's not sure. We definitely need. This, you know, this show just needs a theme. A theme song. That's basically. Yeah. Hey, it's Jake. What's up? What's up? Hi, Jake. It's good. You guys look. Whoa. Do you guys learn in Ableton? We yeah. are. That is so amazing. Yeah, I talk to this dude about Ableton pretty much every day. It's just constantly. I gotta learn. I can't give up. This sounds great. Just a little, a little. We're trying to make a vaporwave cop song. I love the chord progression. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. Then that works. We've we've done our part. I love the pedal cord. It's great. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not on. All this. <laughs> Jake loves the pe Jake loves the progression and the pedal cord, which oh, is our, our powers combined. What is this? We're Captain Planet. Yeah. Are you ready to do it? Because I pulled a late night last night working on a cartoon, secret stuff. Secret stuff. So, yeah. I'll it's exciting. All right. Well, we're all going to get out of your hair now. Yeah. It's time for us to throw to Rockstar Let's Academy with Sam Lustig. Thank you. We'll see you next week on Little Help.